And we have been telling you this for a while now. China has been cracking down on its billionaires. A faltering economy, sliding stocks, and a depreciating yuan have hit the country super rich harder than ever. And the results are out in the open now. The Hurun Global Rich List for 2023 is out. Take a look. It says the world is down 269 billionaires. And this has happened only twice in the last 10 years. But China has suffered the biggest blow. It has lost 229 of its billionaires, which means 51% of Chinese elite are no longer in the billionaire club. Their net worth has plummeted by 15%. Alibaba Group founder Jack Ma dropped to the 52nd place in the rich list. He was ranked 34 the previous year. The country's yuan lost about 8% of its value against a surging dollar. This was the biggest annual drop since 1994. And for China's richest billionaires, last year was the worst in decades. And why is that? Because President Xi Jinping is his country's own enemy. The number one reason was his stringent COVID-19 restriction. The zero COVID policy, it throttled China's economy. And as if that wasn't enough, the CCP tightened scrutiny on private enterprises it launched a common prosperity campaign. Tech moguls were urged to donate billions of dollars to philanthropy. And China began its clampdown on the tech sector in the year 2020. You see, internet companies found themselves in regulatory crosshairs. ANT Group's high-profile public offering in Shanghai and Hong Kong was suspended. Alibaba was handed a $3.7 billion fine for monopolistic practices. Didi, a leading ride-hailing company in China, had its app banned. Why was that? For suspected violation of cybersecurity laws. It lost more than 80% of its IPO value. Metawan, a major food delivery platform, was targeted with an antitrust probe. It was fined more than $530 million. China used several reasons to restrict its tech giant's activities to impose the fines. But why did China crack down on its homegrown successful tech firms? Well, to push for what it calls common prosperity. Do you remember this? Xi Jinping vowed to adjust excessive incomes of the super rich. His move was supposed to reduce income disparity, to narrow down the gap between the rich and the poor. But it seems more about concentrating political power and ideological control, while blaming the rich and famous for the country's ills. Because Xi Jinping has targeted the entertainment sector as well. Entertainers and entrepreneurs have cult-like followings in the country and over the last few decades, their wealth has grown exponentially. Celebrity fan clubs became networks of mass mobilization. Millions of members support their idols online with clicks and money. And of course, it came under the CCP's radar. In fact, China's broadcast regulator limited entertainer salaries cracked down on fandom culture and banned film stars with different political ideologies. Several actors were fined, others were banned, and some disappeared altogether. And China also appended one of its most lucrative sectors in the year 2021. It announced a sweeping ban on profit-based after-school tutoring. It accused tutoring institutes of causing unnecessary stress to young children. But was that the real reason? The industry was worth over $150 billion and regulators slammed it for being hijacked by the capital. You see, Western countries tried to promote growth. 
they create an environment in which the rich can flourish. But that is not the case in China. The country targets its own riches, even at the expense of its economy. China's GDP expanded only 3% in 2022. It was one of its slowest growth in decades. It fell far below China's official target of 5.5%. Xi Jinping's anti-capitalist remarks have spooked billionaires. Their disappearances have become a common feat. Many are actively seeking to move out of the country altogether. What would it spell for China's economy? We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.